After the DMK came to power, the Tamil Nadu government decided to hand over former Chief Minister Jailalita's home Veda Nilayam back to her niece Deepa and nephew Deepak in keeping with a Madras High Court order. Veda Nilayam, a sprawling mansion in Chennai Sports Garden, had been a power centre when Jailalita was alive. After her passing, the erstwhile AIDMK regime had attempted to convert the residence into a memorial. However, Deepa and Deepak, Jailalita's legal heirs, challenged the decision in the Madras High Court, which ruled in their favour after a long-drawn legal battle. In the meantime, Sasikala built a residence opposite to Veda Nilayam. Before that, she had lived with her relatives in Jailalita's home for several years after her death in 2016. In an attempt to bring an end to the rumours, Deepa stated in an audio message that Veda Nilayam is not for sale. After a long legal battle, we got this residence of my aunt. It is an ancestral property, given to my aunt by my grandmother and now legally, we have acquired this property. Hinting that the Sasikala faction is attempting to stake claim on the property, Deepa said that she is not bothered about the history between Sasikala and Jailalita. So many have accompanied my aunt in her political journey and they all can't stake claim in the family or the family property. This also applies to Sasikala family. Veda Nilayam is not for sale and I urge Sasikala family to also deny such rumours, stated Deepa. She added that she has the responsibility of maintaining Veda Nilayam and is planning to move in soon. It is said that the AIDMK leaders were keen on making Veda Nilayam a memorial because they did not want Sasikala to take possession of it. Though it has now been handed over to the legal heir, the leaders fear that Sasikala might be able to buy it from them.